you can get anywhere between four to six inches between now and Friday, but gusty winds could be a real problem for travel. So let's talk about this. The first clipper comes out of Alberta, Canada. Remember, these are fast moving uh, storms. They got named clippers after the fast ships of the 1800s. And so it sort of races through. You get some light freezing drizzle, light snow. It spreads through the overnight hours. So clipper number one, sort of weak. Um, could put down maybe one to two inches of quick snow, but there's not a lot of moisture here. So big, fat, large flakes, and, and there you go with system number one. System number two is a little more interesting, perhaps a little more moderate snow. So uh, as we track this one, it dives from the northern tier, pulls down some cold air. You can see on the backside of it, there's some more rain that's going to swing through Chicago again. Uh, but we could get significant rain in and around some of the lakes. That means that we get three to five, maybe upwards of eight in some of the spots that really could get the exaggerated streamers developing. But on the back side of this, I think that the wind could actually be part of the story here. Not the depth of the snow from the clippers because maybe one to three in some cases, but if you get these winds, which are gusting 35 to 45, this could really create blowing snow conditions. It's difficult for visibility and it really spells trouble for weekend travelers. So just be aware of this. On the future track, you see the first uh, system swings through. And so uh, along, uh, along and west of I-75 through Friday morning, we're we're going to see snow. The big concern there though is you get the snow, they remove it, and then you get 35 mile an hour winds and that will create a rapid drop in visibility. So just be heads up if you've got a plan to travel on Friday morning and you know it's not a lot of snow in the forecast, don't discount the fact that you get a snow blowing onto the roadways. As far as the amounts, again, large area of blue, one to three inches, doesn't seem that impressive, but you put that wind on top of it. Minnesota, Wisconsin, pay attention. Upper Great Lakes getting th five to eight locally in some of those areas in pink, yeah, Grand Marais, Sault Ste. Marie, you could get those locally higher amounts, but from Saginaw to Detroit, all the way to Erie, maybe one to three inches, Watertown, another spot that could get a pocket of four to six with a lake infect enhancement. Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan forecast for you. Look at that. Temperatures are pretty tolerable for the next couple of days, but behind the second clipper, man, that Arctic air takes uh, hold and it takes those temperatures overnight below zero. We're going down to 10 below Saturday night, six below Sunday night, single digit readings take us right through um, Sunday and then you'd be back up to 18 by Monday. Craig? I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.